If you are looking to lose 40 or more pounds, then I strongly recommend that you listen to this entire episode, and I strongly suggest that you use this tip that I'm about to give you. Hey everyone, welcome to Shape It Up. My name is Nicole Simonin. I am your host today, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. My goal is to deliver you daily tactics and strategies to help you jumpstart your weight loss, even though you're over 40. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, the follow button, whatever platform you are listening to on right now, because from now until the end of the year, I'm going to be coming to you every day to give you daily tips to navigate your way through the holidays. So we are wrapping up our seven tips to keeping your waistline trim over Thanksgiving. Today, we're gonna to talk about tip number seven. And after this is over tomorrow, I am gonna be giving you daily tips on food swaps that you can use to help keep you on track on Thanksgiving day. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Again, hit that subscribe button. All right, so on to today's tip. And if you have missed the last six tips, go back and listen to those, okay? All right, so tip number seven, skip the sparkly. I know you guys are not gonna like me on this episode, but alcohol is gonna pack on the pounds super fast. So three reasons why alcohol needs to be avoided while losing weight. So alcoholic drinks are typically filled with sugar. I was a bartender back in my late twenties and cocktails, which I like to call frou-frou drinks, are the worst when it comes to sugar. And it's not so much that it's the alcohol itself, depending on which alcohol you're drinking, but it's what you're mixing it with. So if you're listening and you are an avid drinker, you might be thinking, well, Nicole, then, I, you know, Nicole said no mixed drinks. So that means I could have shots of vodka or straight liquor. No, <laughs> I would not recommend that, but you can have whatever you want. But let me ask you, do you want the drink or do you want the body that you keep saying you want? The second reason why you should consider skipping the, the sparkly is um, the body considers alcohol poison. So your body's first job is to get the alcohol out of your body as fast as possible. So when that happens, while your body is trying to get the poison out of your body, um, you are not metabolizing any food. Everything is pretty much shut down. And again, the body's job is to just quickly get that out of your system as fast as possible. Um, so there is no food getting burned off. It's just sitting in your stomach until the alcohol is out of your system. So in the past, I have heard some people say, then I just won't eat while I drink. I am pretty sure I don't have to tell you how bad of an idea that is. <laughs> so lastly, and I feel this is really the best reason not to drink alcohol while losing weight, is drinking alcohol is going to lower your inhibitions, which may lead you to saying, forget this weight loss goal, and the overeating will begin, right? Soon as your inhibitions drop, you're more likely to do things that you wouldn't normally do if you hadn't been drinking. And a lot of times that leads to overeating a lot. And then, you know, it's not just the fact that you're overeating, but it's that next day, again, depending on how much you drink, but it's the next day where you're feeling twice as bad because now the verbal abuse is arriving and you're beating yourself and like, why did I do that? Why did I eat that? Why did I do this? You do get to choose what your actions are, but what you do is going to cause a result, right? So whether you drink or whether you don't drink, any action that you take is always going to lead to a result. And your actions are either going to take you closer to your goals or away from your goals. So what result are you really after? So we tend to think, we tend to take actions we think that are going to make us feel good, right? It's human nature. Our brain tells us to seek out pleasure at all costs. It wants you to feel happy. It wants you to feel good. And the more pleasure, the better. Having a glass of Chardonnay at Thanksgiving 
might be one of those actions that you think will bring you great pleasure and satisfaction or whatever, fill in the blank, whatever it is for you that you think that that um, alcohol is doing for you. But I want to ask you, how much pleasure are you getting out of your clothes always feeling really tight? How much satisfaction do you get when you're looking at pictures of yourself that your family took on Thanksgiving and now are posting online? Isn't true pleasure feeling comfortable in your own skin or maybe satisfaction in knowing you have complete control over how your body looks and feels? If you wanna learn how to take control over your body, take the next action and schedule a consult with me. You can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat and I can help you get started on really going after what's really gonna bring you pleasure and satisfaction. And that is not drinking. <laughs> and that is fitting into your clothes and feeling good about yourself, feeling more confident, feeling like you can walk into any store and buy whatever size of clothes that you want. All right, so that's my tip. I know a lot of you are going to um, maybe uh, argue with me. <laughs> that's not the way to go. But I just want to encourage you to just be open, open about it and open-minded and see what happens. All right, so that is my tip. Avoid the sparkly or any alcohol. So stay tuned because even though we finished our seven tips, on staying trim over Thanksgiving. I'm gonna be continuing the daily tips. Remember all the way up to the new year, but um, the next section is going to be about food swaps that you can use for Thanksgiving. All right, so stay tuned for tomorrow. All right, I will talk to you then.